and good morning and welcome back so as you can see we've got the super squirt right today we're going to get this inside little lauren get that boiler cleaned out ready for the tubes the tubes still aren't turned up so um, we're going to do everything we can to get ready for when they do so we're going to get this little pad cleaned off first so we ain't uh, working in the muck and then we'll get this engine pulled out and use this super lance to um, clean the boiler so let's go get on the forklift and just push right the only thing we've got to be mindful of is this this little bit of a lip here we don't want to catch it on any of the skates when it comes out so we might even put that all right let's get the forklift going give her a push So for those that are new, this is little Lauren. She's an eight nominal horsepower expansion engine, uh, Wallace and Stevens, uh, named little Lauren. We've been um, currently working on uh, remounting and reworking the motion. Um, and, and we've currently been doing a motion work overhaul basically on this engine for the last, well, I suppose it's going on a year now. Um, and the last major job we had to do was we had to get this cylinder and all the other ancillary parts mounted on this boiler. Um, and we went to test it. Well, when we went to test it, we had a, a failed tube, which put a stop to that test. So we've pulled the tubes out, um, and now we're getting ready to, to replace with new, so. Um, and now we're in the process of retubing this boiler so we can carry on and test this, this gasket and these bolts, get all that tested so that we know we can carry on with the motion work with all that as it sits in the place and we ain't got to pull it back off to best around with the gasket. So that should get you up to speed. Um, what we've got to do today is get in this boiler and descale it. If you have a look, all the tubes have been removed from the boiler now, um, but we want to get down there while we've got the chance. We want to get down in and get all that scale, all that grime, all them years of crap going down in there. Um, all them drop spanners and nuts and bolts that sit at the bottom of this boiler. <laughs> we need to wash that all out so that um, we can get these new tubes fitted when they turn up. The tubes are still on order, but I haven't seen them yet, so um, there's no major rush to get this done, but we want to get this done today so that when they do turn up, we can just put them straight back in. So uh, enough blabbing on, let's, um, let's get on with some work. One thing people were unsure of is how sound this boiler actually was, but if you look at it, this is all new. A lot of this was replaced 15, 20 years ago, so the shell's new. Obviously some original parts like the throat plates, 
but I mean the firebox is new, tube plates is new, a lot of this boiler had been gone through um, and rebuilt in the past. So I'm not too worried about the boiler's integrity, but the motion work was pretty bad. So it's not often people get to see inside the belly of the beast, so I think so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show people that don't quite get to see this all the time. That's the inside of the firebox there. You see that front tube sheet? It's all been replaced. All fit 10, 12 mil plate or whatever that is in the Imperial. You see the stay bolts at the top. All looking rather good. Here's a look inside the bottom. This is a foundation ring. It's a just giant lump of steel which bolted between the firebox and the horn plate. Now I'm no expert mine, so some of this could be a load of bollocks I'm telling you, but there's a look at the inside. That's a flange boiler plate all originally done. No welding. There's a look at the tube plate. And what we got to do today is get her cleaned out down in there. I'm going to camera focus. You see all that grime, all that rust, all that scale? We'll get all that blasted out today. So I'm going to fire out the big lance and get on with it. And there you go, that's a look at the stuff we're after. All that scale. So as well as a pressure washer, I've been using this bit of flat. I'm just using this to get down there and get a stubborn bit. And then just using the pressure washer to blast that lot out. Let's have a look and see, see how clean she's looking. Well, it's just pretty hard to get in here and have a look, but you get the idea. Just getting all that flaky scale off. It always looks a lot worse on camera than it is. I'm not just saying that, it's a, 
the light seems to pick it up worse. But I'm going to climb in the other end now and attack it from the other side. So I just took out the wash out plugs because um, all the crap tends to sit down on the foundation ring in these, in these pockets. So I've took all these out, all the scale and everything has been washed out of the boiler, has been washed down into the bottom of the firebox here, including all the bits of crap we dropped in there. Don't know how that got in there. So. Next thing I want to do is I want to wash out the side of this firebox now. These are all the stay, stay bolts that go between the water cavity. Uh, all this will be scaled up in there. So we want to get up inside the boiler um, and clean off that. So we put the bendy one back on. So we're going to have a go at blasting some pressure up there and knock all that scale off. Um, and then we'll wash out round the foundation ring there and get all that clean. There we go. I've been out here for a few hours now. The water's running clean when it comes out. And as you can get a vacuum this last bit of scale out, and then we're getting over the blower. Uh, I think I'm going to get the big airline now and it blow the rest of the water out, and then we're going to call this job done. So look at the scale. There's a little look at what's come out of the boiler. And the size of it, really, I don't think that's too bad. Um, like I say, that boiler's 20 years old. It's had the same tubes in it. So yeah, we're looking a lot cleaner in there now.
there we go. Boiler wash out complete. There's one just last look in the boiler. She ain't perfect, but she's ready for new tubes. Right, so that's it. I'm gonna temporarily fit these mud holes back in so we don't lose them and I know which one they go on. Um, I understand this ain't the most riveting content washing out a boiler, but it's all part of the process. So gives you an insight into some of the maintenance that's involved with running these old girls on the road. So um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one guys. Hopefully we'll have some tubes. Cheers. We start, those that are following along, obviously, right before we start, those that are following along already know, right before we start, is little Lauren. She's a eight nominal horse. So for the people that is new, we've just had a. So for the people that are new, this is a this is little Lauren. She's a eight nominal horsepower traction engine um, of the expansion variety. She's a eight nominal horsepower expansion engine of the expansion variety. Can't even say it. <coughs>